Mastering the Second Conditional, A Journey into Hypotheticals. Hello, learners. Welcome back to our series on conditionals. Today, we're diving into a fascinating aspect of English grammar, the second conditional. This is all about discussing hypothetical, imaginary, or unlikely situations in English. So, get ready for a ride into the realm of what if. The second conditional is used to talk about things that are unlikely to happen or impossible situations. It's our way of imagining different scenarios and outcomes. This conditional is formed by using two clauses, the if clause, which uses the past simple tense, and the main clause, which uses would plus base verb. The general structure looks like this. If plus past simple would plus base verb, this structure might look a little intimidating, but don't worry. Let's look at some examples. Let's imagine we're talking about a friend who is not very athletic. We could say, if John were an athlete, he would win all the races. Here, the if clause is, if John were an athlete, and the main clause is, he would win all the races. Or, let's consider a dream or wish that you have. If I had a million dollars, I would buy a house on the beach. Again, the if clause is, if I had a million dollars, and the main clause is, I would buy a house on the beach. Remember, these sentences are not describing reality. John isn't really an athlete, and I don't actually have a million dollars. We're just imagining what could happen in these unlikely situations. Now that we've seen a couple of examples, it's time for you to give it a shot. Try creating your own sentences using the second conditional. Remember the structure. If plus past simple, would plus base verb. And don't be afraid to be imaginative. This is all about exploring hypothetical situations, so let your creativity run wild. Well, that's all for today's session on the second conditional. We hope you found it helpful in understanding this vital aspect of English grammar. With consistent practice, you'll master it in no time. So, keep practicing, keep imagining, and remember, language learning is a journey, not a destination. Happy learning!